In this video, I want to show you three examples of where we're going to convert some repeating decimals to a fraction. And I'm going to show you how to do this without a calculator, even though I do have a calculator over here, we can do this without typing these things in. So let's look at 0.7 repeated for number one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let X be equal to this repeating decimal. So 0 0.7 repeated. Now, since all of these digits repeat, I am going to just multiply by 10 on both sides of this equation because technically this is an equation. If we multiply by 10 over here, 10 times X will be 10 X. If we multiply any number times 10, all you're really doing is moving the decimal one spot to the right. For example, suppose I typed in 2.45 and I multiplied that number times 10. We get 24.5. All you do when you multiply number times 10, you move the decimal one spot to the right. So we multiplied by 10 over here. If we multiply by 10 on this side, we're gonna move the decimal one spot to the right. So we will have a seven in front, and then we're still gonna have repeating sevens after that. So if X is equal to our original decimal here, 0.7 repeated, we multiply by 10, we get 7.7 .7 repeated, and now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna subtract these two. So I'm gonna swap these. And what we want to do is we want to subtract. 10X minus 1X is 9X. And if you take 7.7 .7 repeated minus 0.7 repeated, the decimal portions match up. This means the decimal portions cancel out. So if you take 7.7777777, minus the 0 0.7777777, the decimal portions cancel out, all we have left is seven. And if we divide both sides by nine to get X by itself, we will get a fraction of X equals seven ninths. And if you recall at the beginning of this problem, I let X be equal to that repeating decimal. That's how I'm gonna start all of these problems. I'm gonna let X be whatever decimal I have over here, and since X was equal to 0.7 repeated, but now we have this fraction of seven over nine. And if we actually look at seven over nine, that fraction, if we convert this to a decimal, check it out. Seven over nine is 0.7 repeated. And you may say, well, this has an eight on the end. Well, what the calculator is doing is it's rounding the last digit that it's showing but I promise you seven over nine is just 0.77777 and it never ends. Therefore, 0.7 repeated is equal to seven ninths in fraction form. Let's do something similar for number two. We're gonna start off by letting X be equal to whatever decimal we have here. So 0 0.36 repeated. Now what this means is our decimal is 0.36363636. Now let's see what happens if we multiply by 10 on both sides. Just like earlier, 10 times X is 10 X. And if we multiply by 10 over here, we will get, remember we move the decimal one spot to the right. So we get three point, and then it'll be six, three, six, three, six, three, six, three. That's repeated. Well, we can't subtract these yet because up here, remember how we had the same decimal thing, the 0.7 repeated and the 0.7 repeated and we canceled those out. We don't have the same decimal piece here. This is 0 0.36363636. This is 0 0.63636363. Well, what we can do is we can multiply by 10 again, which is essentially multiplying this by 100. But let's take this right here. Let's multiply both sides by 10 again. 10X times 10 is 100X. And if we multiply this by 10, we're gonna move that decimal one more spot to the right. So we'll have 36 point, and then it'll be three six repeated. Look at what we have here. I'm gonna take this 100 X and this original X, and these are gonna be the two that we want to subtract. And you may wonder, why do we wanna subtract these two? Well, I mentioned earlier, we didn't want to subtract these because we didn't have the same decimal. This was 0.36363636. This was 0.63663663. But when we took this and multiplied by 10 again, now we do have the same repeating decimal for these two right here. 
So now let's do the same thing. Let's subtract. 100x minus 1x is 99x. This is equal to 36.36 repeated minus 0.36 repeated. Just like the 0.7 repeateds cancel, the 0.36 repeateds cancel. So really all we have left over here is 36. Let's divide both sides by 99. And we can actually simplify this fraction. We can divide the numerator and denominator by a greatest common factor of 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. 99 divided by 9 is 11. Therefore, this x, that's equal to 4 elevenths. Remember, originally we said x was 0.36 repeated. That was the original decimal. Therefore, 0.36 repeated, since that is equal to x, and since x is equal to 4 over 11, this is the fraction form of this repeated decimal. And we can actually check that over here in the calculator. Let's take 4 elevenths, let's convert that to a decimal, and you can see we get 0.36 repeated. And again, we do see this 4 where we think we should be seeing a 3, but it's actually getting rounded up. But I promise you, 4 over 11 is 0.36 repeated. And now for number 3, I did want to show you this one because the 5 does not get repeated. Let's let x be equal to 0.52 with a bar over it. So this is really 0.5222222. Only the 2 gets repeated. Now if we multiply by 10, 10 times x is 10x. Multiplying by 10, we move our decimal one spot to the right. This will be 5.2 repeated. So again, not helpful yet here because we don't have the same decimal spot. Here we have 0.52 repeated. Now we have 0.2 repeated. But I tell you what, let's multiply by 10 again. So if we take 10x times 10, we get 100x. And if we multiply this over here by 10, we're going to move that decimal one more spot to the right. So we have 52.2 repeated. Now what is different about this one? One thing, the 5 isn't getting repeated. But the other thing is, we're not going to use this original one. Though this is the decimal that we're trying to convert, we're going to use these two because notice they have the same decimal portion. 0.2 repeated, 0.2 repeated. So let's take those two values and let's subtract them. These two right here. And again, the reason why we're using these two, because these decimal portions match. 0.222222 minus 0.222222, those cancel out. Let's take 100x minus 10x, we get 90x. And if we take the 52 minus the 5, since the decimal portion's canceled out, 52 minus 5 is 47. Let's divide both sides by 90 to get the x by itself. And our x value is equal to 47 over 90. Now this fraction will not simplify. And if we check that in the calculator, 47 over 90, let's convert that fraction to a decimal. And what we do see is 0.5 and a bunch of twos, but notice the five does not get repeated. Now you may wonder, hey, where's that three at? Well, it's still rounding that two, but the two stays the same because it has a two after it. So hopefully you've seen the process here where we're going to multiply by 10. We might multiply by 10 again or essentially multiply by 100. Or hey, you might have to multiply by 1,000 or more. But the thing that you're looking for is you want to be able to get the same decimal so that you can cancel those out when you come and subtract. And once you do that, you'll be left with whole numbers or integers and you can solve for x. You'll get your fractions. Sometimes you'll have to simplify. Sometimes you won't. But this is a technique on how you can convert repeated decimals to fractions without a calculator. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.